Good morning and welcome to a, another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 98. Uh, today we're going to be restoring an antique um, uh, craftsman style uh, antique oak rocker. Uh, and looks like a pretty fun project. Uh, let's uh, knock off the chit chat and go over and take a look at the rocker and see what the story is. So far, uh, the only woodworking I've done on the rocker is make this uh, rocker right here. This was going to be a prototype, but it turned out so well, I may just, uh, I may just keep it. Here's a picture of the, here's a, a picture of the, the rocker. Uh, did a little research into it and it's uh, craftsman style. Sometimes mistakenly people call this uh, mission style. And um, it could be as old as about a hundred years old. So I'm not going to, I'm going to do as little as I can on it. I, all I've done is just clean it up and tighten some of the joints up, but that's about it. The main part of the job is going to be to re-upholster, and this is a, I've been practicing, this is a practice uh, seat I put in it, but the practice seat's too high and so forth. Well, I don't think I have to do a lot of woodworking on this project. I do got to re-engineer the seat. Uh, the seat is totally missing, so I'm trying to figure out how the frame, it looks like there's some kind of a frame was put down inside this box here and uh, you know then the seat is connected to that frame and then the whole frame is put in here. Uh, let's look at the ex uh, my experiments. This is what I've done so far. I think my frame, my frame was three and a half inches. I'm gonna have to make a smaller frame. I think this thing was too high and then I used coil springs in it uh, which pumped it up too big. I'm going to change, I'm going to narrow the, narrow the width of my frame and I'm going to change the kind of springs we use. Let me uh, take this apart and show you how it was put together. I took the cover off, you can see here on this prototype, these are the, on the prototype these are the springs. Uh, I tied them all down and connect them but this frame is too thick uh, the frame these springs are just about right for this frame but the frames too thick so what I think I'm going to do is take these uh, take these springs these coil springs out cut down this frame make it thinner and use a different kind of spring so let me take these uh, springs out and here's the box. You can see that it's just too tall right here. Um, I'm going to cut it down, I don't know, maybe half an inch, three quarters of an inch above this. Uh, significantly shorten it because we're going to use a different kind of spring. Let's uh, cut this thing down now. It seems like I'm <clears throat> making stuff up as I go along. Uh, there's a reason for that. I'll, I'll let you guess what it is. So, let's try to put this new frame in. All right, that's much lower. Okay, let's uh, let's figure out how to put the new springs on. <laughs> the new kind of springs I'm installing are called sag-free. Uh, I've never fiddled with them before, so you're seeing it first here. Cutting cutting the length right now. They got these uh, special little brackets. Uh, you got to nail in. I got the right nails. 
I got the right brackets, but I don't have a tack hammer. So I gotta move the whole I move the whole rodeo over here on the on the mandrel so that I have a solid surface to uh, to nail on. I finally got the uh, stretcher to work, wasn't nothing wrong with it, operator error. Uh, and then you put in the second set of nails. But first I think I'll cut that off right there. Now let's put this frame up in here. See if that. Uh... Yeah, I think that's going to be. Uh... I think it's going to be a lot better. Okay, let's finish the frame. Okay, the last thing I. I need to add to this uh, framing scheme. Is these these little cross tie wires that kind of hold everything together. I'm going to have three of them and they're held in place with these cross tie clips. The cross tie itself is coated with paper and the inside of the clip is coated with paper so the thing doesn't squeak. And The little clips are clamped with with this little special tool here. There's a special tool for everything in there. Now I'm installing some woven fa fabric over the uh, springs. This is uh, traditionally uh, uh, covered with, the springs are covered traditionally with uh, burlap, but I have some burlap, but a uh, a poster friend of mine said that uh, this works better. Now I got a piece of foam and the material I'm going to be covering it with, and I got to stretch it over my frame. And I just got to make sure that I
I just got to make sure that I uh, put my staples in down towards the bottom of the frame so that the staples don't show. Well, this is the back. Before I trim up those edges, let's see if this thing's going to fit. Well, that looks a lot better, don't it? Let's put it on the floor and sit on it. Well, it feels good and looks good. What I'm doing now is uh, I'm going to attach this. Uh, I'm going to fold this this extra material over under the bottom, hold it together with these uh, with these staples, these crown staples. Well, I hope I never, uh, I've never claimed to be a, an upholster, but I'll tell you the truth. I don't know how that chair could look any better. Okay, let's, uh, let's take the cushion off of it and uh, finish the last of the mechanical work. Another part that was missing was the little corner brace right here. And you can see, you can see the little rounded, the little rounded corners there and the holes. Uh, 
for the screws. Well, it looks like I found the exact brace, the exact size brace. Might not be the same color. They might have a different color, but um, not only does this fit exactly in there, but even the even the holes line up for the uh, screws. So I'm going to try to uh, install these corner braces, these new corner braces in the old holes. Well, there's our uh, there's a rocking chair in its natural habitat. I brought it inside so I wouldn't mess it up out in the shop. Uh, I didn't refinish it. I didn't uh, I didn't overhaul it. All I did was replace the rocker and replace the seat. Cleaned it up, tightened up a couple of joints, and that's it. So pretty satisfied with it. I hope my uh, my friend likes it. Well, that'll do it for another Memphis Monday. Memphis Monday 98, restoring the antique craftsman era antique oak uh, rocking chair. Uh, when I say restoring, with a piece that valuable and old, you want to do as little as possible I did only the minimum. I didn't refinish it. I didn't take it apart. I didn't sand anything down. Um, I, I kept it in its original state and replaced the parts that were missing. Uh, the seat was missing, the rocker was missing, and the little brackets underneath were missing, and there were some uh, screws that had backed out, and I put those back in, and I tightened up a couple of joints. So I did just the minimum. But I think the results uh, uh, speak for themselves. I really think that was the uh, way to go on this project. But instead of pontificating, um, why don't I say this? Make sure you comment, like, favorite, tweet. Uh, press the bell when you subscribe so that you get notifications. And all that stuff so I can't think of anything else. Oh yeah, I just did. Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.